What exactly is blue carbon and why is it important in the context of climate change? So blue carbon is the carbon associated with uh, oceans and coasts. And in particular, we focus on three ecosystems, three coastal wetland ecosystems, mangroves, seagrasses and salt marshes. Now, as a conservation scientist, um, conservationists have known how important these coastal wetland systems are for decades. They're incredibly important for supporting fisheries, incredible diversity of species, everything from sharks to tigers live in these ecosystems. But about a decade ago, a little over a decade ago, we began to realise that these ecosystems are also the most efficient ecosystems on Earth for sequestering carbon, for taking carbon out of the atmosphere and the ocean. And um, that they actually uh, store that carbon for millennia, locking it away, and of course, are therefore a critical piece of the solution to climate change. Um, and so, uh, blue carbon ecosystems uh, are now recognised um, internationally uh, as these coastal wetland systems, these mangroves, these tidal marshes and these seagrasses uh, that are really important for a multitude of reasons, but particularly including their importance for both taking carbon out of the atmosphere and the ocean and then storing it away um, and therefore um, holding it um, as a solution to climate change. How does blue carbon compare to other ways carbon is stored, like in forests? Um, so uh, we've now um, realised that while um, blue carbon ecosystems, these three coastal wetland ecosystems of mangroves, tidal marshes and seagrasses, really only constitute about one and a half percent of the area of terrestrial forests, um, we know that losing these ecosystems at the rates that we are is resulting in um, 8% or 10% of the emissions that we are from um, terrestrial forests. So while they're only 1.5% of the area, their loss is now um, resulting in 8 to 10% of the emissions resulting from terrestrial forests, um, making them um, a critical component or a very essential element of addressing uh, deforestation as a contributor to climate change. So it sounds like they are more, uh, they are more efficient than forests. So uh, you can think of them as more efficient than forests. I think it's also uh, another way of thinking about it is they are more carbon rich than these forests. So on a per area basis, um, these ecosystems can hold up to uh, 10 times the carbon on a per area basis that a than a typical terrestrial forest. So that when they're lost, that, that um, carbon is then released into the atmosphere. Um, causing on a per area basis um, greater emissions.